This is the sound of money stalled on the Zambian border. Several thousand trucks each month, sitting, waiting days, sometimes weeks. When trucks sit here, those are costs, both on the economy as well as the Zambian importers themselves. They have to pass it on to the final consumer. Part of the problem is truckers must deal with nine government agencies. Imagine a driver bringing vegetables into Zambia. First, PQPS must inspect them. Then the driver must clear immigration. Then drive to the Bureau of Standards. More inspections. Here in Chirundo, that could take days. There's so many trucks nowadays. 40 years ago, there weren't that many trucks. There's only one gate. So you sort of need a gate for empty trucks. You need a gate for loaded trucks. So Zambia has created a border management task force to help cut the red tape, streamline each agency's system, and make them all flow into centralized software. Our goal is getting all this program working together with a single software that allows the interchange of data between the different agencies. Because of the task force, um, we have had an opportunity as border agencies to review our own processes and thereby reduce the time it takes to export and import. The Zambia government is working with the Millennium Challenge Corporation Zambia Threshold Project to help turn this congested border town into a fast one-stop shop for goods coming in and out of Zambia. Zambia's government is building its own new terminal for inspecting questionable trucks and cargo. And the Threshold Project is helping develop a new automated systems for custom data software and a system that helps let trusted carriers speed through. This with technical advice from the MCC and USAID. The intervention by the USAID just came in at, at the right time for us. When we're thinking of modernizing our customs uh, operations, and they came in with a lot of assistance of just improving the efficiency at the borders. Investors that come in with all these huge sums of capital trying to invest in Zambia. If we can get the goods in, the lead time from uh, ordering to the factories, if we can cut that down and eliminate the delays at the border, we'll be doing our part in helping our country develop. The new computer system will let everyone know that drivers pay the proper fees, that food is safe, and Zambians can trust what travels here. At the border crossing, you had to go from office to office. It takes forever. 80, 90 trucks backed up. If we can get those trucks moving on both sides of the border, if people can collect customs revenue, if the health and safety of plants and animals can move much more quickly, then that's got to be good for everybody. The Zambian government also getting advice on how to wipe out corruption, where desperate drivers often bribe officials to eliminate the endless wait. Are you happy that they're trying to fix this? Yeah, I'd be happy indeed. Very, very happy indeed, especially if they do it as early as possible. For us not to spend many days going with one trip and back. When you have a lot of congestion at the border, you're creating an environment that is just fatal for corruption. If we can cut that and eliminate the delays at the border, we'll be doing our part in helping um, our country develop. The new computers, direct fee payments, and a trusted carrier program will prevent needless inspections, eliminate corrupt payments. And the Threshold Project is helping make sure Zambia can get its products out of the country too. A new Lusaka International Airport inspection and testing facility will make it easier and fast to ship Zambia's rich farm resources across the globe, guaranteeing flowers and produce are pest-free, putting more Zambians to work. And we're looking at removing the checks from the borders. The Threshold Project creating an on-the-spot border management university, coaching officials on how to manage risk at the border, letting larger trusted companies and products through to give inspectors more time on problem imports. Most of the challenging things that we have is lack of effective computer systems. And with the centralization of the servers, that will be in the head, of, in the head office, it will make work easier for us. Officials considering longer operating hours, creating separate inspection gates for imports, exports, and passengers, hoping this helps create more business and jobs for everyone in Zambia.